What's going on my YouTube fam? I'm here this morning. I am just going to be answering questions. I'm not gonna be playing. I played a little bit last night, uh, but today I'm specifically gonna be answering questions. <clears throat> so if you have some questions guitar related, <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to answer your questions this morning um, while I'm making myself something to eat. So it's gonna be a little <laughs> answering questions and, and having some food. Uh, so yeah. Um, when you come on, introduce where you're from because this is a, a great platform to kind of network other guitar players or other musicians that may be in your city. You never know. Uh, networking is one of the biggest forms of currencies that we can have in the world. So it's important to network um, and just stay connected. So if you got any questions guitar related or whatever, I definitely want to try to answer your questions. If I don't know it, I'm not going to BS you. If I don't, I'm going to answer it. Um, I mean, I get to everything, but... Um, I'm gonna do my best and attempt to try to get to all of the questions. Sometimes they come in so fast, rapid fire, I can only answer so many at a time. So uh, I don't want anybody to feel offended if I'm not here to answer your question. I don't get a chance to answer your question. It's not personal. I don't, I'm not looking at your name and being like, mm -mm, I'm not answering that person's question. So with that being said, hi, my name is Carrie. Um, I'm currently residing in Atlanta. I was living in LA for a number of years, um, professional musician. Uh, producer, arranger, um, teacher, instructor. Um, I've had the opportunity to share the stages with a lot of um, A-list artists, B-list, C-list, D-list, Z-list, whatever. I play with everybody. Um, it doesn't matter if they're big time or they're just, you know, local. I've done everything. So uh, I take the knowledge that I've had, that I've gained over the years, and I just share it, um, particularly on platforms like this, but mainly um, on my online school called Carrie's Camp. You can go to Carrie's Camp, check it out. It's really an extensive a look no matter if you're a beginner you've never seen a guitar before you're walking to a store i teach you how to go get look at a guitar or if you've been around a guitar for a long you know period of time you feel like your skills are not necessarily where you are you're more like an intermediate i got you and if you're an advanced player but you're just trying to look to just get over the hump you just try to add a little more sauce and a little more spice to it i got you um, i structured my school to necessarily fit all three tiers because i knew how important it is um, when you're at that place sometimes you just need a little push you need a little guidance and that's what essentially my school is to help you out to unlock the fretboard and play like you want to play. But uh, we got people in here from Cleveland. We got some people in here from the Philippines. Yo, it's what's, what's up. So I wanted to take this time. I typically will do this uh, from time to time where I'm just sitting here sharing information and just getting a chance to like lock in and plug in with you guys. Uh, this time I do not have my guitar with me because I wanted to make it more of an opportunity where I get to answer questions. I know some of the last few Saturdays I've been playing at, at a church filling in or whatever so oh stove is ready let's go and put our food in there um so we can go ahead and answer some of the questions so i want to take this time um this saturday to answer questions because i thought it was super important to be able to do that with you guys um <clears throat> to ensure that i'm giving you guys an opportunity to ask questions that you may not necessarily get to ask when you're watching the lesson or whatever so that's what i'm doing um morning from seattle uh that's what's up. Trevor living in Seattle, but from LA. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, yeah, what up, Mark? So definitely I want to take this opportunity. So if you got questions, this is a prime opportunity for you to ask those questions. I want to definitely try to take this moment um, and answer your questions um, if you don't mind, because I don't. So if you, you don't mind asking, I don't mind answering. Um, but yeah, man, all in all, it's good. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is why I do what I do. I always said once I got to um, over the plateau in my career, if I started playing at a high level, I wanted to give back because I remember being um, a guy wanting to gain the knowledge and access and didn't have a platform, didn't have some somebody that was willing to kind of give me that on a consistent basis. So I wanted to offer that to as many people as possible. So that's what it is. Recommended practice routine. Should a routine be focused on theory, technique, alone or both? Uh, that's a great question. Um, your routine should be focusing on the areas of weakness that you have. Whether that be if there is an area of weakness, then focusing on theory. If it is technique, then focusing on that. It can always be a combination of both, but let it be focused on specifically around the areas that you're weak in. Um, a camper, what up? What up, Dave? Um, program is legit. It's awesome. Listen, Davida Tyson, let the people know. Brandon, what's good, my guy? Uh, when you get hired for a gig, do they usually provide materials to learn the songs? Uh, it depends on what kind of gig. So if you're playing at a high level, if you're playing for like um, a known artist, yes, they provide 
uh, the songs, the Dropbox, the, the whatever the links for you to listen to the music, or they tell you to listen to this. Now, when you get to rehearsal, they may have the different arrangements that you may have to learn on the fly sometimes, but nine times out of 10, they try to usually sing you the stuff so you have an idea. Um, if it's like a big tour, the first day is usually like a programming day, load in programming day. So like you're kind of like listen to like some of the programming to understand like what parts you have to be playing so we can figure those things out. Some local gigs, they'll, they should definitely send you like at least a, a set list to let you know, but some situations, maybe last minute, you may have to just jump in and just with both feet and try to do the best you possibly can. So we got guys from Philly, we got guys from France. That's what's up, that's what's up. Totally glad you guys are taking out the time this morning to um, hop in and just, you know, just question and answer session today. So, you know, things are a little different today than what I normally typically do, but that's what's up. What up from Nashville? I just left Nash Vegas, so that's what's up. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well today, enjoying your Saturday, staying hydrated. Starting to get warmer, spring is around the corner. The trees are blossoming. If you're in the South, get ready for that pollen. It's about to be crazy. What up from Chino Hills, Mr. Red? You consistent, I, I love that, I love that. So yeah, definitely taking this good time this morning to answer questions. So if you have questions, go ahead and, and fire them off. If I miss your question, it's not personal. I'm gonna to try to go back and answer as many as possible. But um, I'm here to answer questions. Let's talk. Let's dialogue. Let's talk about guitars. Let's talk about different kind of techniques, whatever. Mr. Red, I'm loving Carrie's Camp. Yo, that's music to my ears. I, I set it up in such a way that I, hopefully is providing a, much information so that you can grasp, so that you can use to grow in your craft. Because that's essentially what it's all about. That's really what it's all about. So that's what's up. Anybody got any new gear? Anybody got any new pedals, new guitars, new amps, new stuff that they're looking in to try to use? Have you already do a video on raining nights in Georgia? No, I haven't done a video on raining nights in Georgia. I have not. But uh, like I said, again, I'll add it to the list. I've got uh, a, a number of stuff that I've got to kind of like do. So I'll definitely add it to my list of stuff I need to get accomplished. Uh, I'll put in three to four hours per week. I've been grinding in the Lick Library. That's what's up, yo. It's definitely going, it's going to pay off, man, definitely. Because it's going to show you how to develop your own kind of licks. You know what I mean? What do you know about software amps? Uh, what do you think of them? I personally don't know much about software amps. Um, when I go to the studio and they happen to have plugins, I typically try to go for more of a, a Fender sound, more of a clean tone, uh, depending on the record. Now, if it's like R&B, I'm definitely trying to go for a Fender. But if it's more of a pop, rip, pop kind of gig, I'm going to go for like, maybe a Mesa Boogie or a Marshall or Orange kind of amp. So I think they're pretty much close, like in the sound and the tones that they're able to give. You're gonna have to massage a little bit, it's not perfect, but any amp that you play, you're gonna have to massage and, and kind of tweak your tone. I'm thinking of buying a Taylor GS Mini. Um, is that a good guitar for a beginner? I'm also a member of Carrie's Camp. Lawanda, I believe that is a good guitar. Like it's smaller, it's easy to playable. I've actually played one in the store um, and I, I liked it. So. Definitely for somebody that has smaller hands and is trying to get used to playing guitar, I think it's a good start, so for sure. Hey man, I want to ask, how many hours do you usually practice a day? Um, Arturo, it actually depends, man. Honestly, some days I practice extensively. It could be like a 14-hour day. Some days it might be like a 45-minute day. It just really depends on what's uh, on my agenda for that week. Um, can you please have Devin, uh, Dr. Kevin Wilson on Carrie's Corner? He's amazing. Um, yeah, I asked my aunt. That's like Uncle Kevin to me. Not legit uncle, but like he's a good friend of mine. So I'll definitely ask. I know he's super busy, um, but I'll definitely reach out and ask him. What pickups, um, what are pickups? And what are they, um, and how are they using the guitar? So pickups are like microphones, right? And typically, um, each guitar has its own different microphone. They have different tones, different sounds, or whatever. And um, that's what helps project the sound from a guitar. So pickups really shape the tone. So different microphones have different kind of tones, just like pickups, they're all different. They all, they essentially do the same thing is to magnify the sound, but they, the tones are different. So it's a science when it comes to the right kind of pickups with the right kind of woods. It's just a whole, it's a whole play. So I want you to know how that works. There's some people who are a little bit more technically savvy that understand how pickups work, but that's essentially the overall thing of how pickups work. Good morning from Lima, Peru. Whoa, that's what's up. Yo, yo, that's awesome, man. 
That's what's up. That's super awesome. So we're gonna do a little lunch today. A little lunch brunch. What we got going on today. What up from Taiwan? That's what's up. Yo, that's, man, I'm, I'm impressed about the reach. That's what I'm talking about. I think that's super dope. Uh, it says, thank you. I just uh, learned the pentatonic and blues notes. And sometimes I add a couple of uh, notes from the major and minor pentatonic scales. Mostly, any suggestions on what to learn specifically for Neo Soul? Uh, Neo Soul, you use all of those. But if you want to learn things, I would say now that you're at that level, start listening to the melodies in the Neo Soul and start perfecting playing those melodies. That's really definitely gonna enhance your playing and also your approach to the uh, to that style of music. What is the difference between, um, the difference for warming up on guitar and the actual practice? Warming up is just warming up. That's essentially what it is. You're just playing just for the sake of getting your hands warm. Practice is like there's an intent behind it. So you wanna be specific in how you approach it. That's what practice is. That's the difference. Warming up, I'm just grabbing a guitar and just kind of just doodling, kind of playing vibes, just kind of just get my hands warm. Practice means I'm either like specifically practicing a song, I'm practicing a technique, I'm working on something specific. That's what practice is. That's the difference. Hello, Mr. Sulu, just passing by saying, thank you. I'm learning guitar and you're really helping me. Uh, thanks from France. Man, I appreciate that. Seriously, man, I appreciate that. That's what's up. That means a lot. So if you're just now coming on this channel, what I'm doing today is I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm answering questions. Uh, typically, I'll play something or we'll vibe out. Uh, but today, I want to take this time to answer questions because t the last few Saturdays, I've been like crazy busy either playing or I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and answer questions. So um, I'm answering questions. What scale do you mostly use? Uh, when I'm playing or like what, what specifically are you asking? If I'm using a scale to identify a song, I'm using a major scale, but I don't typically use a scale when I'm playing. Uh, what's your favorite Neo Soul album? Mm, favorite Neo Soul album? I don't know that I have a favorite. Um, I've got I like artists specifically that I listen to. So like if you, I like Moonchild, I like Baidu, I like the, your Jill Scotts. Um, Foreign Exchange is dope. Um, Mac Airs is super dope. There's a lot of dope things that you can listen to and find. Even artists that you didn't even know. Like if you go on Spotify and just type in Neo Soul, and a whole list of people will pop up and populate. You know what I mean? So I'll tell you, definitely do that. Check those things out. Like, don't limit yourself with just the number of, like, the, the bigger names. Go find the guys that, like, that have stuff that, you know, you may not even know. NDRE is dope um, for, like, solos. Uh, I'm at a phase now in my, in my career, I don't use scales because I hear melodies. So I, I play the melodies. It's almost like being in the Matrix. I'm in the Matrix, so I don't use scales. I don't have to use scales in order to rely on soloing. I'm typically trying to play the melodies of the song or I'm trying to play melodies from other songs just to make it work. So that's typically what I'm doing. Adjust this. But let's say if I run out of ideas and I know I can like fall back on the minor pentatonic. I know that gives me some stuff. I don't do like blues scales or blues approach to the minor pentatonic. I'm more so focusing on grabbing certain notes out of there to create like um, whatever vibes that I want. You know what I mean? So. Hi from South Africa. I just found your videos and it's been an eye opening experience. Sweet. That's what's up. Um, experience to learn that that I need to be more disciplined, cool, and playing and making the rest of the balance I get, not just myself. That's true. If you're playing as a part of a band, you have an assignment and your assignment is not about, if it's not your band, then it's not your sound. Your sound is to make the rest of the unit better. So you definitely gotta be disciplined. Even when it comes to you, like maybe you might be the stronger of the, the people, even still be tasteful in your core approach so that way like it doesn't sound like it's just you and them. It sounds like one unit, you know what I mean? 
uh, the last video you uploaded for Carrie's Camp working on various techniques is so so helpful. Cool. Just uh, needed that. Sweet. That's what's up. Do you like playing uh, metal music as well? Just in case, what band? Uh, metal music? Like metal? Is that what you're saying? Uh, would you say church? What would you say church teaches you? Um, it teaches you how to really have a strong ear, how to play versatile, how to play a lot of different styles. So it would be asked to different assignments because in church, sometimes you're going to be asked to chord. Sometimes you're going to be asked to play lines. Sometimes you're going to play the rhythm. It's just a whole lot of stuff that you're going to learn. I don't have a uh, Arturo. I don't play metal, so I don't really listen to a lot of metal bands. So I don't have anybody that I can, you know, s suggest. Um, by the way, um, best way to learn chord voicings. It's just be in the court video chord library. Take each chord a day and then just like learn all the different voicings and apply them to songs that you already know how to play. Just start a big up. That's what's up. Do we have to know all the notes on the fretboard um, first to understand the major skill? No, you don't. Not at all. Because if you learn the pattern, you'll understand the major skill. You don't have to know all the notes on the fretboard. Hold on one second, I gotta get myself ready so I can get me some grub. All right, let's go back and look at some stuff. Is guitar theory nece really necessary? Uh, I would say yes, but it's not like imperative. So if you don't learn guitar theory, like you're gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so don't don't kill yourself if you don't learn guitar theory. You'll be all right. It just it may make it a little bit more challenging to learn how to manipulate the guitar a little bit more. But um, that's one of the things I would just tell you. Uh, do, 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 do. Man, I never get to catch you live. Da, da, da. This is. But what's up, Carrie? After saving for months, I just joined Carrie's camp. Well, welcome, Corey. That's what's up, man. Hey, we are getting a cooking tutorial. I wish, listen, I, I've just learned and discovered that I kind of like cooking, but I'm just warming up food. <laughs> I'm not cooking today. Uh, any advice for a new guitar player in Carrie's camp? Yes, my advice would be um, use the roadmap to help you. What areas are you weak in? If you're weak in that area, then focus your lessons specifically on that. You don't have to go in a chronological order. You have the flexibility to move around, but figure out what it is that you want to learn how to do in Carrie's camp, and it'll help direct you so that way you know exactly how to, where to place your focus. Uh, Chef Carrie, uh, then just cook on the strings. <laughs> don't sleep on the video cord library. Exactly. How do you feel about Tim Henson's uh, playing style? Um, I haven't really dived into his playing style, so I can't really answer that question. Guitar theory is an art of knowing why and how. Anybody can learn um, how to play chord scales in such such a way, but theory teaches why things work. So I guess um, to learn being melodic, I should practice intervals. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't say necessarily practicing intervals. I would listen to melodies like I, in the video court, like actually in Carrie's camp, I talk about the soloing techniques. Like if you're a basic beginner, and you're trying to figure out how to solo the melody, three blind mice, learn that melody. You're learning that melody. So what you're learning how to do is be able to hear and play what you hear. You know what I mean? We got Brazil in the house. Do you have a musical degree or learn on your own? I, my degree is in criminal justice. 
Um, I went to school, I took music lessons and um, some courses throughout high school, but no, my degree is not in music. Carrie, you did a video where you played a major triad. Can you check it off? This is, and you checked it off the sixth string um, with a pinky. And he says, if it's the correct notes, do you have one of them? And the, I don't know what you're talking about, Warren. I would have to see it. So, or just next next time we have Carrie's camp, I think we're gonna have a, a live Q and A this Wednesday. Submit the question so I can see what you're talking about. Put the link in there so I can see what you're talking about. One minute, I say grace. Thanks, Warren. Appreciate that. It's going to help me out so I can know how to answer that question specifically. Strider Telecaster, which one do you prefer for your playing self? I'm a Strat dude all day. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a Strat guy. I do have a Telecaster. I use it for some things, but I'm, if I had to pick and choose between the two, I'm a Strat guy all day. guitar player reason being I like a lot of different guys that play different ways so they all offer something different to the table so I don't have a favorite Lithuania in the house that's what's up how does the major scale pattern show us whether uh, to play a sharp flat natural note in the scale I've been confused about this for a while Jalen become a camper I got you Man, I really thank you for taking your time out to cut a few day to help people like us. You're a professional. It's good to be able to reach out and to touch you. Man, that's what's up. Listen, that was my mission when I when I said I was going to become a professional musician and play at the highest level. I knew I was giving back, so I, I'm honored. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all forgive me for eating. It's almost lunchtime. I was like, y'all got I got to grow up today because I got a lot of work to do. This afternoon. <laughs> You're often on stage with other guitar players. Are you often on stage with other guitar players? No. If so, I've done a tour with another guitar player. We have to pick parts and you have to let your ego go. So we can't be like, I'm trying to tip for tat you. I'm trying to out solo you. I'm trying to out duel you. You have to pick your part. Understand if your role is a little bit less than on this particular song, it's okay. You're on stage. That's the goal is being on stage. It's not about trying to like outshine the next person. So. Become a camp. Became a camper on Thursday. That's what's up, Jalen. You got some work to do, man. Get in there, get get, get cracking. Shout out to Carrie Too Smooth. Become a camper is real. That's what's up. Have you listened to Kingfish Ingram? <laughs> and what do you like about his plan? If you're a camper, you would know that I had uh, I had Kingfish speak to the students. I'm a huge fan of Kingfish. Like, it's a mutual respect. He's a huge fan of mine. I'm a huge fan of his. I, I think the boy is touched by like the guitar guys. Like he's got he's got the sauce. He's got it. You know what I mean? Uh, with that being said, what is the smallest role possible? 
Um, let's say somebody's got the solo and you don't. That can be deemed as a small role. Somebody's got like main chords and you got like accents or you got whatever. It just depends on what your role is and what the genre is and whatever. So just be be cool. Be your own stage. You're part of the band. That's the biggest part. Hey, brother, didn't realize that was you on, with Letter Seals on the Tiny Desk concert. Yeah, that is me. You were killing. You're amazing. I learned so much from you. I appreciate that, Marvin. You're the best army guitarist. Now I appreciate that. That's not true, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I guess the best is relative. It just depends on who's who's the person evaluating the, the standards. But I am I'm very, very good. I'm gonna say the best. Playing two guitar playing two guitars can be amazing as long as you're both on the same page. True, very true, Taylor. And Carrie definitely did. Um, did that on the tiny desk. Since transitioning from keys to guitar, I found it challenging memorizing the notes on the fretboard. Get flashcards, Corey. You get flashcards to be straight. That's what I did. I got flashcards, did three frets at a time, and I made it easy for myself. Yes, you're really good at playing the guitar. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I pride, I pride myself on that, so I appreciate that. Does your brand of guitar matter more specifically where it's made? Um, brands do matter because the playability of the guitar and the what the the attention to detail and how they make the guitar definitely does matter. So I would pay attention to that. Certain brands are made better, I think, in my opinion, than others. Some pay more attention to detail. So the overall playability of the instrument is definitely uh, is definitely different. Greetings from Germany. Is it nighttime? Guten Tag or Guten Morgen? I used to live in Germany. I know a little, 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 little German. I've been in Germany plenty of times performing. Love your style of playing. Just started out following your lessons, man. I appreciate that. Listen, I'm going to take one more question then I got to finish eating so I can run upstairs and start working. Where did you get those wings? I got them from Wingstop. <laughs> I ordered Wingstop yesterday and I had some wings left over. So I'm a leftover king. I love leftovers. Ain't no shame in my game. Um, when you say accents, are those like triads? Not necessarily. Like you may just be playing like two notes. That's what I mean about accents, like colors and textures and swells, or whatever. None of the none of the really elaborate stuff. You may be just helping to make the song sound more full. That's what I'm talking about. What we find did I get? I got Cajun. Greens from Chapel Hill. Okay, that's what's up. I just started playing about four months ago. Thank you for your tutorials. I, I appreciate that, Zion. Appreciate that. Greens from Spain. That's what's up. Man, Andre, I love you too, bro. It's all love, man. I thoroughly enjoy today. If you're brand new to this channel, do me a huge solid subscribe, click the bell to be notified because I will be doing stuff like this, not necessarily eating, but I'll be answering questions from time to time. And I'm gonna be sharing like different guitar tips and teaching you guys how to play more stuff. And I would love for you to be a part of Carrie's Camp. Like you've heard me talk about it and you've seen some of the campers com comment. And you're like, what is this Carrie's Camp? What is this Carrie's Camp? Just go check it out. Go to carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P.com. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter if you're in the middle, it doesn't matter if you're at the end, you feel like you're an advanced player. I've got something for everybody and I'm constantly adding to the site, constantly getting better, um, sharing information. I got some other things that are coming in. You know, we do giveaways, we do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna start opening up Carrie's Corner where we sit and we interview guys. Um, so there's a lot of things that are coming. For all my campers, this Wednesday, I believe we're doing the live Q&A. So go and submit your questions. 
Um, so that way I can answer them this Wednesday. But I look forward to seeing you guys. You guys take care. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'll talk to you guys soon.